Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna break down and analyze some of the tunings used in American Football's original EP and the first LP. The goal of this video will be to discover some insight into how they design their tunings, and I'll do that through looking at their open chord spellings. And as always, a summary of this information is available on my Patreon page in the link below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for the tunings used in this video, these are gonna be based off of a 2015 photo, which shows their set list and tuning charts. If you haven't seen that image before, here it is. So as you might have noticed, there's a lot of really wonky tunings here, and we have a lot of notes with sharps. So these tunings have been slightly adjusted from the original tunings that were used on their first LP and their original EP. I suspect that they downtuned all of their guitars in this reunion phase, as the original tunings and keys are too difficult for Kinsella to sing in in the present. That being said, in this video I'm going to analyze the tunings as of 2015, though I'll try to make them more digestible by telling you the spellings a half step up as well. So I'll be working with some of these nasty sharps, but don't worry, it's more about the chord content than anything else. Finally, as one last note, there were some enharmonic issues with how they spelt their own tunings, so I've adjusted some of these so that they make a little more sense within the context of chord spelling. To kick things off then, let's look at the song, The One with the Tambourine. Okay, so in this first song, we're going to look at Steve Holmes's tuning first, and he's tuned to D-sharp, G-sharp, C-sharp, F-sharp, A-sharp, and D-sharp. And this is essentially just standard, but tuned down a whole step. If I had to describe the chord content, I would call it a D-sharp minor 11, or maybe an F-sharp 6-9 chord. Looking at Mike Kinsella's guitar, he's tuned his to a D-sharp, A-sharp, D-sharp, F double sharp, a sharp and D sharp. So what this spells is a D sharp major triad. So that's a little difficult to play on the guitar. So you'll just have to hear it as that sound. Moving on to the next song, we've got letters and packages. And looking at Steve Holmes's tuning, he is tuned to D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. So once again, this is standard but down tuned half step. And for Mike Kinsella, he is tuned to C-sharp, G-sharp, C-sharp, G-sharp, B-sharp, and D-sharp. And if you spell this one out, you get a C-sharp major 7 sus 2. But to put this one into more familiar language, if you transpose it up a half step, then you'll get a D major 7 sus 2 sound, which is also spelled as a D, A, D, A, C-sharp, and E tuning. So it's essentially this sound, but they've just dropped it a half step. Or if you want, you can hear it like this as well, based off of E. But yeah, it's that major 7 sus 2 sound that we all know and love. For the next song, Honestly, this once again uses C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B sharp, and D sharp. And both guitarists are actually playing in this tuning. So once again then, that's the major 7 sus 2 sound. Pretty straightforward for both guitars. For this next song, we have For Sure. And it has just one guitar playing, and that's played by Steve Holmes. And his guitar is tuned to E, G sharp, B, F sharp, B, and D. And if you spell it out, we get an E major 9 chord. So Steve Holmes' guitar is tuned to an open E major 9. And this tuning is actually more familiar than you might think, because if you transpose the whole thing up a half step, then you'll get an FAC GCE tuning which is a classic emo sound that a lot of us have probably messed around with. So yeah, open E major 9 for for sure. For our next song, we have I'll See You When We're Both Not So Emotional. And once again, only Steve Holmes plays on this track. And his guitar, according to the photo at least, is tuned in a really dicey tuning. So we've got it spelled as D sharp, A sharp, C, F, A sharp, and D. So I had to respell this one because uh, we've got some enharmonic issues here and it just doesn't quite make sense how Holmes has spelled it. So I've respelled it as E flat, B flat, C, F, B flat, and D. And when you work with it in that language, then you could call it something like an E flat 6, 9 chord with no third, or perhaps a B flat add nine uh, over E flat. So if you're looking for that sound, it's not really possible to play that on 
in standard tuning at least, but if you transpose it to E, then you'll get a sound like this, which is that 6-9 sound. So yeah, that's the sound from I'll See You When We're Both Not So Emotional. For this next song, shorthandedly called Leaving Soon, both guitars are tuned to E, A, D, A, B, and E. And if you calculate this all out, it spells an E7 sus4 chord. So, pretty basic, but a nice open sound. For our next track, we have But the Regrets Are Killing Me, and both guitarists play on this one. So, Steve Holmes, he is tuned to D sharp, G sharp, B sharp, G. A sharp and D sharp. And this one here spells a G sharp major nine chord. If you transpose it to a different key to hear the sound in standard, then you'll get something that kind of sounds like this. As for Mike Kinsella, he's playing in that drop D sharp standard tuning thing. So standard, but instead spelled as D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. For the song sevens, Steve Holmes is tuned to E, B, D sharp, E, B, and E. So that spells an E major seven chord, and it sounds like this. So that's Steve Holmes' tuning. And Mike Kinsella is tuned to E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E, which is just an open E tuning. So that would sound like this, or classic. E major sound that we're all used to right there. Moving on to the next song, we've got Stay Home slash The One with the Wallitzer. And Steve Holmes is tuned to E, G sharp, B, F sharp, B, and D sharp, which is once again that E major 9 song that we heard earlier in For Sure. And looking at Mike Kinsella, he's tuned to an E6 chord, which is spelled E, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B, and E. And that one sounds like this. So once again, Steve Holmes is tuned to this open E major 9, and Mike Kinsella is tuned to this open E6. Moving on for our next song, we've got Summer Ends. And for Steve Holmes, he's tuned to D sharp standard. And Mike Kinsella is tuned to an open G sharp major nine. Uh, so this one is spelled as D sharp, G sharp, D sharp, G, A sharp, and D sharp. And if you transpose this chord up a half step, then you'll get a more familiar sound here, which can be played in standard. So it's something like this. And I mean, this is the sound that you're actually gonna hear on the original record, since once again, that first LP and EP is tuned up a half step from these 2015 tunings. For our last song, we've got the classic emo anthem Never Meant. And Steve Holmes is tuned to an open E major 9 chord, the exact same one we heard earlier, which was spelled as E, G sharp, B, F sharp, B, and D sharp, aka F A C G C E, but just tuned down a half step. And for Mike Kinsella, he is tuned to an open E major triad, which is spelled as E, B, B, G sharp, B, and E. So that one sounds like this. So once again, Steve Holmes is tuned to an open E major 9, and Mike Kinsella is tuned to an open E triad in the song Never Meant. Okay, so in this segment, I'm going to do a quick analysis of all the information that we've just gathered. First up, outside of the songs that use drop standard, or standard drop down a half step, the band only uses tunings that voice open major chords. Particularly, they like to use open major seven and major nine voicings, like this guy right here. Furthermore, when using contrasting tunings, one guitar will typically use a less complex sound. For example, we often see pairings where one guitar will use a complex sonority, like a major nine chord, and the other guitar will use a more simple sonority in the form of a major triad. In this case, that was what was used in the song Never Meant. If I had to speculate as to why one guitar might have used a more complex sound and another might have used a more simple sound, I think that they probably did this so that they could reinforce the relationship between something complex and something simple. If you have a simpler sound, that can be used to reinforce the complex part, which just creates a more cohesive 
aesthetic. In contrast, maybe if both guitars used more complex tunings, that might have made things a little more harmonically muddy. Finally, if you want to create your own American football style tuning, it seems that all you have to do is pick a major chord and then add a seventh or a ninth to it to create some kind of major seven or some kind of major nine sound. Moreover, when you're building your open chord slash tuning, try not to use too many extensions. American football didn't tune their guitars to major 13 chords or major nine sharp 11 chords. All right, folks, so there you have it. If you like this video, then please make sure to like, share, and subscribe as I put out a new video every single week. And if you want to support the channel, then please consider checking out my Patreon page, where for as little as a dollar a month, you guys will have access to some bonus content like guitar tabs, lesson notes, chord diagrams, and other little goodies like that. And honestly, the Patreon page really helps me out as it allows me to get some extra equipment to make these videos better. And finally, I also teach privately through Skype. There's a link to my email address in the description below. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.